Before starting a race, do you jump right to into it and run as fast as you can, or do you do a warm up? Most people would agree that warming up before a race would be a good idea. It's the same with your brain. In this video, I'm going to show you why you should warm up your brain before taking a test or doing a harder cognitive task. Let's look at different situations where warming up can improve your performance. You should warm up your brain if you have to do a complex task, if you're not motivated and it's hard for you to start, if you want to increase your concentration or if you need a creative solution. Having trouble to start your task can have different reasons. First, it's important to prepare your brain for the following task you have to do. The brain has to loosen itself from the things you did before, like eating dinner, having a phone call, listening to music, or just doing nothing. This transition can't happen immediately, it takes a few minutes. Scientists have found out that your brain can't work at its maximum performance in the first 15 minutes. It takes some time until your brain reaches the highest state of concentration. After more or less 15 minutes, your brain is ready to do hard work. Because of that, you should start your work with easy tasks, like transcribing of your lecture notes, a paragraph from a textbook, or small lecture repetition. If the task is easy and something you find interesting, then you get a motivation boost and you have more energy and endurance for the hard tasks. But at the end, you are the one that best knows what's the best task for you to prepare your brain before you do the hard stuff. Scientists at the Yale University have shown that with an experiment. They analyzed the effect of a five-minute warm-up brain training session on performance of kids at school. The result was quite amazing. After regular training, three times a week for four months, the kids performed better than the kids without the warm-up training. The scientists explained this finding with the priming effect. In psychology, priming is the activation of associations based on previous experience. What we've learned from the study is, with cognitive tasks, it's like in sport, warming up before you start with the hard stuff. Now the question is, how you can warm up your brain? I show you three different exercises how you can warm up your brain. Exercise number one. Take a short article. For example, this one about our brain and the learning process. Then you choose a letter combination. In our case, I've picked the combination RE. Then we highlight all words which have the letters RE. Exercise number two. Write new words. Take one word and try to build new words with the existing letters. Let's make an example. We have the word association. Now we try to build new words with the letters A, double S, O, C, I, A, T, I, O, and then like sit, cats, or isotonic, and so on. Exercise number three. Solve some short arithmetic tasks like 55 minus 8, 122 divided by 3, or 33 plus 28. But why these exercises are ideal for warming up your brain? They are easy to do. You don't need more than a piece of paper, a short text and a pen. You don't need any internet connection. The brain gets some analog stimulation from the paper and the pen. And the change between searching, recognizing and small movements with your hands stimulates your reward center and gives you motivation. When you do these exercises, then your brain 
will be ready in a few minutes and it's ready to perform. The most people will be wide awake, they're full of motivation and they can now tackle their mental challenges. Next time when you're sitting on your desk in front of a hard task without any motivation, then hopefully you remember the things I told you in this video. Thanks for watching, wish you all the best and see you in the next video. Thank you.